Hey, Susan Leonard Kasmer here. I want to be able to show you how to mix ice resin from the larger bottles, which is uh, very cost effective, and to mix them properly and have the uh, part A and B in equal amounts. So check it out. Hey, I want to show everyone how to mix ice resin properly. Um, there's a statement that uh, ice resin has to be mixed perfectly and you have to have the perfect amounts on here in here it's there's a part a which is the resin and a part b which is the hardener and you want to mix and fill both you want to fill both parts absolutely equally one to one so um the first thing that i do these are the the cups that come with the line you can either grab a small amount or a large i love using these cups i i have them in my studio i use them with my with anything paints anything you can mix in here water quenching all of that stuff so i find a lot of uses for these cups they're nice and sturdy they have the measured increments on here um, so for me, uh, you know, when I'm mixing, I have a lot of room in here to mix. So what I do is I set up a lot of, uh, my pieces at one time. So this maybe would be a little collection that I'd set up and then I would just pour the resin all at one time. So I want to show you how to mix a larger amount. So there's no fear in your studio coming up to this product. So I'm gonna start with this 30 mark. I'm just gonna hit it right here at the 30 mark. It's gonna be at the bottom of that marker. And then there's a 60 mark here. So it's absolutely half and half. And I've got these marked now. So so once I start pouring, I'm gonna be able to see directly into these. Um, I wanna start with part A, which is the resin. This one is a little thicker. Um, if you're in a really cold studio, you're gonna find that uh, it just takes a little longer coming out. I have a nice cut on the top of on the top of um, the spout, and I'm just squeezing out, and I'm going to come all the way up to the bottom of this marker. I'm going to dot more. Okay, there we go. So there is part A, and the next. This is a lot lighter. This is the hardener, and I'm just going to go ahead and pour the hardener right in up to the next mark, the bottom of the next mark. And this is the 60 milliliter. Okay. If you add in a little bit too much part A resin, you're going to get sticky. So if your pieces are sticky, that means you're heavy handed on putting part A in there. Um, if you're heavy on the hardener, you're going to find your pieces are going to dry beautifully. But in time, there we I can't guarantee that it's going to be crystal clear in time. Uh, I can, you know, this one actually is mixed properly. You're going to get a really nice, um, long, lengthy, bright, bright colors in your resin. So this is, this is the one-to-one. -one. You can see the marks on here. And I'm just going to take this and start by folding this over like uh, scrambling eggs very, very gently. You can see I'm going one direction. I'm going to wipe my paddle and I'm going to come in from the other side and just scramble this together. So it really is like folding or scrambling eggs and now I'm going to really hit the edges of my cup, fold it again. I'm always wiping the spatula, wiping the ends of my cup and I'm scraping onto the bottom. This is nice and kind of wet and hot in here so I know I can even scramble this fairly fairly decently and um, the bubbles will be able to to lift out. So you're going to see this looks a little cloudy now, and that's what happens when you're mixing these two colors together. Also, you are going to see bubbles. Don't worry about the bubbles. They actually will lift themselves out, or I'm going to show you a technique just for, for getting them out, or talk about a technique, rather. Um, I have some students that will mix up a cup, and they'll pour a whole batch, and maybe their very last bezel is not it's sticky and that's because they're just not scraping the sides and the bottoms good enough so you really only need to mix for a minute so mine is pretty much mixed I can see it settling in together so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sit just for a couple minutes once I mix it then I'll let this sit if I'm in a very very cold studio or it's really cold high air conditioning I'll just put it underneath a hot light just for a couple minutes just to kind of lift the bubbles out and finish settling it this is this is really um, 
nice and hot in here. So the bubbles are going to lift. It's going to settle. It's nice and thin. So um, with these cups that I'm mixing with, the, the, the cups come in a pack of five if you're just using a little bit. And for me, I just use the, the, the uh, 20 pack and it has the sticks right in here. So um, this is, so please, if you're interested in any of these products, just click the links below to learn more about these products.